All right, thanks for giving this a try if you are. Some slightly more challenging um, figures that just have, it's not quite so straightforward, all right? So for example, this one, it says, in the figure, the area of the shaded border is 87 square inches. So I'm gonna write myself a note that that's 87. So I know that, all right? Find the area of the large rectangle. So we can assume this large rectangle is the one they're talking about. Well, how am I supposed to do that? What is the large rectangle made of? Well, it's made of the smaller rectangle plus the border, right? And I know the border is 87. So now I just have to figure out what that small rectangle is. Well, thankfully, I have the length and the width of that smaller rectangle, 12 and 7. So I know how to find the area of a rectangle. Multiply length times width. 12 times 7 is 84. So then I know the small rectangle is 84. The border is 87. So to find the area of that larger rectangle, I can add those together. So it's all about figuring out, okay, what are they asking for? What do I know? What am I missing? How can I figure it out? And that changes based on the situation. So there's not always one straightforward way to get there. You have to do some problem solving and some thinking about, okay, what do I know? Okay, I know that. I know this is what I'm looking for, and this is how I can get there. 84 plus 87 would be 171. And then we have square inches because we're talking about area, and we're looking at inches right there. Right, so that nine in this case was just extra information that I didn't actually need. They'd asked me to find like how long the rectangle was, I would have needed it, um, but I didn't have to in this case. Let's look at another example. Okay, so we can assume they're asking what's the area of the shaded part. So in this case, it's like we have this big piece of paper and we cut out this little part. So let's look at that little part first. What is the area of that little part? Well, they labeled it on the outside, two and two. Sometimes they'll label it on the inside. So the area of that little part is two times two, which is four. Now, what's the area of that big part? Assuming it wasn't cut out, what would the area of this big part be? Well, I know it's six this way and 10 this way. So six times 10 is 60. But I'm taking that 60 and I'm cutting out that four. So if I'm cutting something out, what do I need to do? Add, subtract. I need to subtract. I'm taking 60 and I'm subtracting that four from the middle to find out what is left. In this case gives me 56. That's centimeters, so it's area, so centimeters squared or square centimeters. So sometimes we have a total and we're taking out a part instead of the other composite shapes where we're combining rectangles together. That's what I mean by sometimes there's not one straightforward way to do it. All right, here's another one where I could um, figure out the area of the shaded part. So let's look and see. Okay, well, I know this big rectangle, if it was all shaded, I could figure it out. 16 and 10. So 16 times 10 is 160. Let's see, can we figure out this small white rectangle? They didn't give us dimensions, but let's see if we can figure it out. Okay, well I know that this whole thing is 16. I know that this part here is two. I can assume that it's the same all the way around. So this over here is two. So if I have 16 and I take away two and I take away two to find out this part that's left, 16 minus two minus two is gonna be 12. So I know it's 12 meters wide. And then I can do the same thing for the bottom. Let me just, for the side. 
rewrite that so it's a little neater. There we go. So I know if this whole thing is 10, and this part up here is 2, and this part down here is 2, 10 minus 2 minus another 2 is going to give me 6. So now I have the dimensions for that inner rectangle, and I can find out the area of that inner rectangle. 12 times 6, which gives me 72. So now I want to take that whole red rectangle, or pink in this case, because I kind of switched, the whole thing, and I want to take away that middle part. So cut it out and get rid of it. So I'm taking 160, and I'm cutting out 72, or I'm subtracting 72. Let me go over here so I have a little more space to borrow. That would be 5, or I could use my calculator. 10 minus 2 is 8. 15 minus 7 is uh, 8. Oh, lots of 8s in this one. So 88, and that was meters. So squared since we're finding area. Okay, so just three examples of some slightly more challenging problems. They can look a lot of different ways. So you just have to put on your thinking cap and really try to figure out uh, what you know and what you can figure out from what you have. If you need help, I would love to help you with this one as well. As always, you know, good luck.